it's me. Today, I have quite a fun and exciting video planned. Personally, very excited about it. For anyone who doesn't know, I do have a child. I don't put her in my videos very often at all. And if you do see her, you usually don't see her face, except for that one time I told you she existed and I did show her face. I wanna protect her privacy, so we don't put her face or her name on the internet. We do have a cute little nickname for her. We call her Mini Me. That was the fan voted nickname. A lot of you are requesting to have her involved in some way. Today, she is going to choose what I paint. Keep in mind, she is only 18 months old. So I've come up with a way that I think she can handle. I have these cards. I basically just made a list of things that she loves. I chose her two favorite animals. Two of her favorite activities are playing outside and taking a bath. Then I chose her two favorite foods, which happen to be very similar to each other. The last two are really random, but it's flowers and jewelry. So yeah, let's move to the point where I have her and we are choosing things. All right, you ready? Say hi. We're gonna play a game. I'm gonna show you two cards and then you tell me which one you like better. You have a bunny and a squirrel. Pick one. The bunny. Okay, next. Bath time or outside? <gasps> Bath time. Next, we're gonna choose a fruit. Watermelon or strawberry? <laughs> this is the last one. You can choose flowers or jewelry. <laughs> flowers. Good job. Mama. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. All right, so bunny, bath, strawberry, flowers. This shouldn't be too hard. I could do something like a bunny taking a bath, eating strawberries and then the flowers uh, okay no no a bunny in a field of flowers eating a strawberry Ugh, but there's the bath ah okay no, no no how about a strawberry bunny is taking a bath of flowers uh, that's dumb okay maybe this will be kind of difficult let's just start sketching i'll make one decision at a time first the orientation mm, i like that let's go portrait and it all begins with a cute little sketch of a bunny i drew her paw up it's available to hold something will it be a flower will it be a strawberry <laughs> Oh, look, it's a strawberry. And I decided that this bunny is getting a little messy, getting a little carried away. How did that get there? So, naturally, she needs a bath. But instead of a bathtub, because she's a bunny, I made her in a puddle of water, because I think that's probably the most likely place for a bunny bath. And then to incorporate the flowers, I just, like, drew them all over the place. Horrible. Quickly decided I hated that, and it was really ugly. So, no, we're not doing that. Just kidding. Instead, I brought in a bunch of strawberry bushes bushes, which actually happen to have flowers on them when found in nature. Quite cute little strawberry flowers. So this bunny, let's say it's a baby bunny, I think that would be appropriate, was told by her mother, her naggy naggy mom, go get a bath in that muddy puddle. Bunny hygiene standards, not always the best. Nevertheless, the little bunny hopped off to go take her bath like her mom told her. She just got a little distracted because this muddy puddle happens to be surrounded by luscious strawberry bushes. And so she's having herself a nice little feast of strawberries and um, there's uh, one smushed on her head. That's pretty much the story here. That's as far as I got with it. Once I was done with my sketch, I went over all of that with a cleaner outline. Let me quickly address address my guilt and suffering here. Eh, suffering's a bit dramatic, but anyway. I feel like I may not have quite emphasized the bath element. Like, if I had been assigned, you know, by Her Majesty to do outside instead of bath, I feel like this could have looked exactly the same. But I was really struggling to figure out how to make an actual bath tub a part of the picture and still make it somewhat cute and make it make sense. I didn't really want to draw a bathroom, not gonna lie. So this is what I came up with. From here, I actually printed this out. Look at that. We're going from digital to traditional. It's a mashup moving through art worlds. I printed this on some fancy watercolor paper because I've been looking for an opportunity to use these fancy watercolors that I bought. They're for professionals. Yeah, that's me. Now, I did buy these, but I kind of feel like I'm committing a small crime. <gasps> because I don't exactly feel qualified to use watercolors this fancy, but anyone can just walk up and purchase professional art supplies, even if they have no idea how to use them. So that's where I come in. Hi. But I started by putting a bit of paint in the palette. Good place to start. Added some water, mm, mix that stuff. And look at the, yes, watercolor. 
So I'm starting with the strawberries because I feel like that was the easiest color choice to make. I'm not gonna try to get crazy with the shading. That'll come later. For now, I'm just laying down a base of color to get me started. Next color I'm going with, and oh, this I don't get. For some reason, there was a ton of clear goo coming out of these paint tubes. Um, I don't know if they weren't mixed up all the way. I don't know how I was supposed to mix them. They're in tubes. I'm gonna take all the paint out, mix it up, and then shove it back in the tube like that makes no sense so i just put that on the side yeah i'll have my snot on the side and then once the color finally came out uh you know i do the thing and i'm painting all the bushes i went with a kind of bluish green for all the greenery i thought it would look nice with the red strawberries then adding some blue to my palette oh yep here it comes more paint snot what is happening maybe it says something about it on the box i'm gonna look at the box and see i'm making a purplish blue color for the water i didn't want to choose all the super obvious simplistic colors for everything you know like blue water blue sky green grass wee. because i feel like that would just look really really basic i mean i wanted my baby to choose what i paint but i don't want it to look like she painted it <laughs> Not that her paintings aren't beautiful, they are. I went with pink for the sky, another unique choice. I don't know, whatever. I tried to blend a little purple in there, so maybe the pink and purple sunset are reflecting on the water to make it purple. And finally, for the bunny, I went with a nice light, um, whatever color that is. And so there's that one layer of watercolor. By the way, do you like my nails? I know you do. I am wearing my Emmy Nails polish, as I do very regularly. We have recently bundled all six of the colors together so you can get them all for a lower price. It's a great deal. Check it out. I'll link them in the description. But now on to phase two or actually three or four, five, whatever. I'm going to be using colored pencils to bring in more of the details and shading. I know you can achieve detail and shading by just using watercolor alone, okay? But I am not that talented. I'm not the best at watercolor. So I feel more comfortable doing this with pencils instead. I do find it funny how the two fruit options were watermelon and strawberry strawberries, both of which I have been accused of having a mild obsession with, which may or may not be true. I don't know. I, there's some evidence out there, but I swear I did not choose these fruits because of my obsession. I chose them because of my child's obsession. She loves fruit in general, but she goes through different phases where some fruits are okay one week and then they're not the next. The two fruits that she has reliably eaten always are strawberries and watermelon. But yeah, this drawing doesn't look completely out of the norm for me because it's bunnies, it's strawberries, it's flowers. It's a lot of the same stuff that I happen to draw and paint normally. What can I say? I have the same taste as a toddler. Oh, now that we're done with this, might as well get that out of the way. And look at that, a strawberry break really getting into the spirit of things. Okay, continuing on. You know, I always feel like I have to acknowledge, I know this isn't the most skillfully pristine, perfect masterpiece, but ignoring that, I actually do like it, and I actually had a lot of fun making it. I really love the combination of doing the line art digitally, and then printing it and using traditional art supplies to color everything in. The first time I did this was the only other time I've done this, with my Sky Bear drawing. I've been waiting for a chance to do it again. It's really the best best of both worlds because I feel like the actual drawing is the most challenging part and doing that digitally makes it so much easier. But then you also get to enjoy the physicality of traditional art supplies. Mm. And also, you know, I made a bunny. Now I tried adding in some clouds with some Posca pens. They were failing to show up. Reveal yourself. No? Okay. I just had to keep going over and over those to make them do anything. And finally, there is the final drawing. I think it came out really cute. You know, I like it. And it's special because Mini-Me helped. I'm really happy with it. I think it's cute. And I actually really thoroughly enjoyed the process of making this. I was challenged, but it wasn't so difficult that I was stressed out or frustrated. It was really fun through the whole thing. I hope you guys like how it came out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>